Welcome to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're gonna head on sort of kind of north. But first, we're gonna go check out that Pokey Athlon Dome thing where, yeah, Whitney told us to go. Um, I know I did say I was gonna go pick up a Pokemon, but there's some trainers and shit on the way there. And I didn't want everyone to kind of get, you know, not really been out of shape, but, um. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the Pokey Athlon Dome. I'm a tard! That's the trade station thing, isn't it? Yeah, the GTS or whatever the fuck, well, what it used to be. Yeah, Global Terminal. Ah, I'm sorry. I keep fucking forgetting. It's 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 up. It's up north. It's the thing off to the left. But anyway, we are going to go see that, but we are going to start on Route 35. That's what it is on our way out of here. Um, Because on our way there, we're going to pick up our Pokemon. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, oh, oh. Well, I, no, I, oh, I, yeah, I, I didn't, no, I, yeah, I, 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 got, I, yep, I, I just, I, I just got peer pressured into something. Yeah. Um, yep. I was, like, see, here I am looking for fucking goodies, and they're like fucking telemarketers, man. It's like, I swear. Anyway. Um, we are gonna go, yeah, start on these bitches. I actually started going up this way and I ran into this bitch. I was like, oh, shit, let me restart so we can actually record this shit. So I did. So here we are. And we're gonna clear out these guys. You know, and, and, and enjoy it. And bask in our awesomeness, because we just beat Whitney's ass. Well, Alright, not really beat Whitney's ass, but we survived. We survived the Whitney. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. Depends on your definition of survival. But anyway, point is, we're alive and here we are. Sort of. Kind of. Eating up this Vulpix. This little Vulpix is a little punk. Um. So yeah, aside from some, some fucking attractive bullshit. Which, by the way, I'm sorry. Can I complain about that more? What the hell? How about a broken fucking mechanic? Holy shit. Holy shit. You know how much bullshit that would be in fucking, uh... Whoa, ho, 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 ho. motherfucking Metal Claw. Oh, he's gonna get the Metal Claw. He's gonna have the Metal Claw. We wanna keep the Bubble Beam just because he's water type. But we'll get rid of the Mud Shot because he's got Metal Claw now. Ah, oh, fucking shit. And shit. Kaching. We do like the Metal Claw, by the way. Metal Claw should go pretty well with him. I'm just saying. But anyhow, um, fucking, where was I talking, what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Yeah, the point is, we got some trainers up here. We got some trainers up in here, we got some trainers over here. Alright, um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're gonna go get our next Pokemon sometime soon. Maybe even, ooh, look, it's a Cray-Cray. It's a Cray-Cray in a dirt machine. Oh, shit. Metal Claw. Sorry, I, I, I'm excited about that. He should be evolving here, not not too too long. Cray cray, that is. And which is gonna be nice. We're gonna have a nice, 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 nice whatever the fuck he is. Well, whatever the fuck he is. Fucking yeah, that Kingler. There we go. Oh, and he brought this guy. He brought this try with the metal claw. See how you do it with the metal claw. Ching ching, motherfucker. Da da da. And as good as I thought it would be. But oh well. Oh, he's got a fucking rollout. Rollout. That's okay. We'll buy Scribble next. But the Metal Claw is going to come in handy against, um... Oh, damn. That was a crit. Metal Claw is going to come in handy against rock types and shit like that. So, that's why I want Metal Claw on him. At least for now. Should be other stuff. Oh my god, I thought this was going to be a double bond. I just realized that it wasn't. Haha. <laughs> uh, no, that good shit. Anyhow. We, I can't remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something that was really, really informative, and and now I'm just completely at a loss. Kenya, is that person named Kenya? What the fuck is Egypt or Nigeria or maybe fucking Sudan? Goddamn, Thundershock. Fuck you, Pikachu. Nobody love you. It's flamey, this little bitch. Nom 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 nom. Eat it. Eat it. Eat its little rosy red face cheek things. Oh shit, I hate double team. But, attract. Imagine how much fucking. I remember what I was gonna say. Ha! 
attract. Imagine how much that would fuck shit up theoretically in, in whatever the fuck it is. Competitive. You know how pissed off people would get with that shit? I mean, we just saw how it fucking worked there. Unless it has like a 10% chance to fucking hit or something stupid like that. I don't know. I've never fucking looked at a track. It's just one of those dumb moves that I just don't fucking like. Uh, I'm just, you know. And, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I, I, I hold a grudge. And, and when you have fucking moves and shit like that, that screw me and piss me off. I almost refuse to use them. Just saying. It's just the way I am. I mean, shit like, uh, what the hell is it called? You know, shit like Earthquake and stuff. Okay, yeah, Earthquake's the shit. I'll use it. Even if it fucks me up. But shit like a track, mm, fuck that bullshit. That was bullshit. Either way you cut it. Alright, ooh, Zubat. <laughs> I'm gonna get Pele some love. Pele needs some love. He's been out in the cold. Mostly because of the rolling out. Getting rolled upon. This is gonna play with this little guy and just bah, fuck him up. At least he should anyway, damn it. So he's got 10 levels on the Zubat. And. Kaching! Look at that, level 21. What level does he evolve? I feel like it's. I feel like he's an early. I mean, obviously his second stage is early, but. I, I, I feel like his, his third stage should be pretty early too. Is it like late 20s? Is that right? I don't remember. I don't think it is. I don't know why it would be, but I mean that's just that's just me. But I don't know. I I could be wrong. Oh, you little bitch! You little bitch! The smoke screen, by the way, did save us. The fact that I think I was able to get up to three smoke screens on that that uh, that mill tank, Whitney's mill tank. I I think that really helped us because it gave us some a little bit of a gave us a little bit of a reprieve there for a little bit, so we could you know. Not get totally fucked. Behold my dexterity and grace! So he said, or some shit. I don't know. Juggler Irwin? You got, oh, fucking. Voltorb. Oh, Voltorb. Voltorb. Remember that guy? You remember that guy? You guys remember Chode? I like Chode. Little Chode. It was my guy. He did shit. Chode was awesome. I like Chode. I would, I, I am now, I am now okay with Voltorb and Electrode. I am. Thanks to Chode. But therein, therein lies the beauty in Pokemon, if you do ask me. I mean, just the fact that this sort of shit can grow on you, even though you're like, ah, oh, fuck this stupid Pokemon. I'm sure that'll happen someday, too. With, with, you know, something that I absolutely hate. Like, I don't know, Spiro or some dumb shit. I don't really care for Spiro. I don't like the way, like, Spiro as itself is pretty and badass looking, but when it evolves into Firo, I'm like, eh. Could be better. But that's just me. I mean, like, like you look at, like, Pidgey and, and its subsequent evolutions, how it kind of retains the same shape and stature, and Spiro doesn't do that, and I don't like that. You know, whereas like Voltorb and Electrode, yeah, it, it remains the same shape now. Fucking, you know, Electrode or Voltorb was to turn into some fucking giant dragon or some dumb shit. It would be like, yeah. Kind of the same thing with like Salamence. Like you have Bagon, there's this cute little thing, and then it turns into a fucking ball with four fucking legs, which, I'm sorry, it, it's just like that awkward teenage stage that's just like, you know, what, what the hell? I mean, what what is going on with this thing? And then it evolves into sound. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty badass. But why did it go through that other stage? Because the uh, yeah, shell gone is just fucking weird. I I don't I don't like when things do that. They evolve too much beyond their original or root um, uh, shape. I guess is the best way to to describe it. Form. You know, whatever, you know. Like, like Kingler, I mean, evolves into a crab. Like, if Kingler were to evolve into a fucking whale or some dumb shit, I'm like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Same thing with, like, uh, was it, like, Huntail and Clam Pearl? Yeah, that, that whole thing. Those, those evolve from each other, right? If I remember right. Anyhow. You know, I mean, that was just, yeah. You know, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, it's a clam thing, and then it evolves into this snake eel thing. And then it's like, that's... That's not, no, that's, evolution doesn't work that way. But that's just me. I mean, it's just, 
especially when you have such consistencies be between Pokemon like this, like Magmar. Magby looks like a baby Magmar. It, it looks appropriate. And then, and then you've got, you know, Magmortar, which, you know, still looks appropriate. You know, it's just, those consistencies like that, I appreciate. You know, and, and they make, I guess, evolutionary sense. In my mind, anyway. I mean, I'm just, you know, you can conceivably say, hey, yeah, that actually does follow the same evolutionary line. I mean, yes, there's differences in, in little things that go different, you know, that, that deviate from the, no like, the original form. But still, you, you, it's it's enough to be um, to be different and improved upon, and, and yet still look relatively the same. But I don't know. That's just me knowing too much about shit like that. But anyhow, this Magmar. You know, I actually I should I should admit I'm pretty surprised how much damage Gregor is doing, considering. Bubble Beam is not a move that is good for him. I mean, I know it's a fire type, but I'm still I'm still pleasantly surprised by that. Gives me some hope that we can get in there and and fight like a I don't know fight something later that has fire and he can actually hold his own. Hopefully, as long as it's a physical attack, all right. <laughs> you know, and, and it'll just wear something down. But anyway. We are here at the Pokey Athlon Dome thing. Actually, wait, is, is what's her name over here? Do we have to go talk to her or do we have to go. Or we have to go in here? I do like, I'm not gonna lie, I like the games in the Pokey Athlon Dome. I, I thought they were kinda cute, actually. Oh, it's this asshole with this thing, and I feel it, I feel it. Dude, you need to step the fuck back. Yeah, you take your little Apollo world and, and and why are we following him? I don't want to follow this old guy. I don't want to go into your house, old man. I don't want to visit you. But anyway, like I was saying, I do like the games that that are in here. I think some of them are kind of cute for for um mini games, and and like I said, I I enjoyed them, and and it's worthwhile. Like the prizes they give you are actually worthwhile. And I appreciate that, like, um, you know, metal coats and shit like that. Oh, you wanna go? You wanna go? That's right, get your purple ass in there. Um, sorry. <laughs> like, talking shit to Polywork. Looks like he'd fuck your shit up. Anyhow, um, isn't Whitney supposed to be in here or some dumb shit? Anyway, um, I like some of the games in here. Like I said, I'd, they give you worthwhile rewards and, and all that sort of shit that are gonna help you evolve stuff, which I appreciate. And that's kind of the same thing like I was saying before, like, you know, Metal Coats and stuff like that as, like, Pokemon League. Oh, no. Like, if you were to have, like, an actual Pokemon League where you battle, you know, trainers and all that good shit, like I've described before, if you, if you gave, you know, rewards like a Metal Coat and stuff like that at the end of a season and whatnot, it, it'd be pretty cool in my mind. But that's just me. Anyway, um, we are going to stop this episode right here. Next episode, we will most likely have a new Pokemon. And you'll get to see what it is. It's going to be a Sunkern. Haha, -ha, yeah, that's right. Think about that. Anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the Ghost Key is the only place where pants are optional.